Hello everyone, welcome to today's training. I'll be teaching you how to make this web design at Neto. These are the materials that will be used for this training. I've already done my ready to wear cap. You can see how it is. I've already attached my headband and it's ready to be used. So this the size of the mood I used in getting this ready to wear cap cap is eight and a half inches mood. Alright, um, I'll be using my millinery wire here. Please, you can use the other flexible wire for this for this training, but I'm using the millinery wire. And the measurement of the longest wire, it has two wires. So, the longest one measures 50 inches length, while the short one measures 42 inches. The, the wire that will be outside, the one I will use and form the outer circle, measures 50 inches length while the one that will be used for the inner circle measures 42 inches length so after cutting out your wire use your thread to wrap it around and use your masking tape or cello tape to hold that same point all right i'm done with mine you can see it the next thing to do is to use the bias to wrap it around i'll use my uh gum or my b6000 to wrap up the wire with the bias but I prefer the B6000. So you can watch other videos and see how to cover your wire with your bias. Alright, mine is done and it's ready. The next thing I'll be doing is to cut out um, small millinery wires that will be used to join all this together. Because you can't wear your fastnetter this way. So I'll use my measuring tape to ensure that all of them measure the same thing. So watch what I'm doing. If it doesn't measure, I will... It doesn't tally. I will adjust it. So I'm measuring it around to ensure that all are equal. I positioned it very well. So after taking your measurement, um, I'll take up the cap base also. I'll take it up also to ensure that I get the num the num the measurement of the millinery wire that will go through it. You understand? So once I'm done with measuring. Um, I will take the millinery wire, I will cut out 5 inches length, I will cut out 5 inches into 8 pieces. Don't forget to take up your cap base. You will take your tape inside and I got 1 inch. So, adding 4 plus the 1 from that cap base to the end of the outer round circle. It measures 4. So, under the cap base, I got 1 inch. So, the 4 plus 1 is giving me 5 inches. So I've cut it out and I got eight pieces and I want to put them in pairs. So picking up one pair, that is two pieces, I'll use my thread and wrap it round. Please, exactly what I'm doing here, that's what I'll do to other three, three pairs. So I'll wrap it round to hold it together. That's the essence of this tying. I'll use my thread to wrap it round. Once I'm done wrapping, I'll tie them together, form a knot. And that is what I will do to other to the other three pairs. After tying, I'll form a knot, tie it together, then cut out the excess. So I'm done wrapping the four pairs. So once you finish doing this, use the bias strip to wrap it up the way we normally cover our wire. I'll wrap it up the same way. So you can see how it looks. I now have four pairs, as in four pieces, that's what I have there. My next thing to do is to take the measurement of that round millinery wire. Go around this way. So, you measure it to the end. Assuming you got something like 40 inches, you divide it by four. Don't if you get me. If you got the round measurement as 40 inches, you divide it by four because the pieces of the millinery wire, of the millinery wire cut out is four. So, you divide it by four. 40 divided by 4 is 10. So what you do is take your measuring tape, measure 10, you mark it out. From that place you marked out, you measure 10 again and mark out. That's how you do it for both millinery wire. And what I will do next is to measure those round circles to ensure that the distance between each other is equal. So once I'm done measuring and it tallies, um, I will take those pieces and drop on those spots. That I marked out and I'll mark the, the 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 point that touches the inner circle. Watch what I'm doing. You understand? Make it to face up. Make make the 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 wire to face up. 
So I'll mark that point that is touching the inner circle. There is a reason for that. Just mark it out. Watch what I'm doing. You see it. So that's what you do for the four pieces. So now what I'll be doing next is I'll pick up those pieces and attach. Please attach it the same way you measured. You attach it. Don't forget that the longer part will be facing inside. So I'll attach. See the method that I'm using to do the attachment. Ensure that your thread pass through the bias. The thread must pass through the round circle bias and it will also pass through the the, the long linear wire that I cut out. So I'll wrap it around this way. What I'm doing here, that's what I'll do to the other remaining three pieces. So we continue to wrap around. You wrap it around until you see that it is firm. Don't you forget me. You wrap it around until you see that it's firm. Once it's firm, you take your your needle and pass it through that millinery wire before before doing your final knot. All right, I'm true. You can see those long wires neatly tacked down. So next thing I'll be doing now is to place this inner circle. I'll drop it inside. Please ensure that um, those places you placed your mark tallies with the mark on the long wires. The round circle marks tallies with the round wire. Continue to set it until you get those points. Yes, so you can see how it is. I've not tacked it though. I've not tacked it here. So I've just placed it. Can you see when you place your cap there, this is how it will be. So next thing to do is to remove my cap and tack. Ensure that the place you marked your round circle tallies with this other long wire. Remember, there is a place we marked on the long wire, on the long wire, and there is a place we marked on the round circle. So tack both, both, both um, marks. Tack the one on the long wire and tack the one on the round inner circle. So we are going to tack them together on same spot. Do same thing to the remaining three. Do your tacking the way we did it earlier on. Yeah, I'm done with tacking. Can you see it? It's neatly tacked and firm. So next thing to do is to place a cap. Cap placement. We want to tack this cap now. And that's the final phase. Um, I'll use my telos chalk. Use a telos chalk and mark those spots where the four wires connect. Give a mark on that cap base. Just at the edge. Please, just at the edge is what I'm doing. You mark it down. Um, this mark will help us when you turn it upside down. Um, when you turn this wire or the cap upside down, the mark will serve as a guide where the millinery wire will pass through. Don't you forget me. So, I will turn the millinery wire upside down. Right, I've turned it upside down. Please don't forget to place the, the round wire. On those places you marked, that's the work of that marking, that mark on the cap base. So I'll use my plier to bend that one inch, that one inch that will be tacked to the cap base. Remember that it's one inch that we measured under our cap base. In that one inch, we're going to use our linear uh, cutter to the plier to bend the mouth so it will bend and we'll be able to tack to the cap base. So with the help of our plier, I'll be bending the edge what should i'm doing just bend it you understand try to bend it down because that is that's the point that will be attached to the cap base so um bend the four millinery wires and attach it to the cap base with your needle and thread with, with the help of my needle and thread i'll be attaching it don't forget to place the long those long millinery wire on top of that place you marked on the cap base it serves as a guide. So I'm tacking it down. Don't forget to do your knee stitch in here. Don't forget it. So we did, we um we do a knee stitch. As you as you stitch down, you ensure that the needle pass through the bias. Don't if you get me. It passed through the bias and you tack. You tack. Make sure that the thread holds the wire down to the cap base. So do the work around on the four millinery wire 
Oh yeah, it's ready. Can you see? It's firmly attached. And what we'll do here is to do your finished work. You know how to cover your cap base with your lining, um, your petasham ribbon and your bang hand. So do your neat finishing here. Once you are done with the neat finishing, you embellish the top of your fascinator. Yeah, check out the base of my cap. I've done mine. So next thing to do is to embellish. I can use my stones, my appliques, feathers, flowers, anything that comes to your mind. Use it to design your fascinator or hatnator. Some call this hatnator when it's big. Why some call it fascinator? Anyone goes. So you design to your taste and rock it later. Thank you for joining me in this session, this training session. See you next time. Bye.